Hi friends, this is the last video on the first chapter on number systems. Today we will talk about exponents for real numbers. Let us assume that A, B, M and N are any real numbers. We will talk about a few properties for exponents. The first one being a to the power m into a to the power n is always equal to a to the power m plus n. Second one is a to the power m upon a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n. a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power mn and the fourth one being a to the power m into b to the power m is equal to ab whole to the power m. We also know that a to the power 0 is nothing but 1. Now if you put m equal to 0 in this property you will get a to the power 0 upon a to the power n is equal to a to the power 0 minus n also this would be equal to 1 upon a to the power n. We can see that 1 upon a to the power n is also equal to a to the power minus n. Now let us look at how we represent a root of a number. Say for example, the nth root of a is equal to b. Now that simply means that b to the power n is nothing but a. We can also write b in the form of a to the power 1 by n. This is just another representation of nth root of a. For example, cube root of 2 would be equal to 2 to the power 1 by 3. Now let's look at a few questions. Say we are asked to simplify the following expression. 13 to the power 1 by 5 into 17 to the power 1 by 5. Now this is one of the questions from the NCRT textbook. Now we know that a to the power m into b to the power m is nothing but a b to the power m. Hence we can write this as 13 into 17 whole to the power 1 by 5 or 221 to the power 1 by 5 and we know that nth root of any number can be represented as anything to the power 1 by n so this will become the fifth root of 221. Let's look at another question. Say we are asked to solve 32 to the power 2 by 5. There are two ways of doing it. First, this number can be written as 32 square to the power 1 by 5. This comes from the property that a to the power m into a to the power n is equal to a to the power mn. Moving on, we get 32 square as 1024 to the power 1 by 5. 
now this is nothing but the fifth root of 1024 we know that 4 to the power 5 is 1024 and hence fifth root of 1024 would be 4 now the second way of doing it is 32 to the power 2 by 5 can be written as 32 to the power 1 by 5 to the power 2 this again follows from the same property we know that 2 to the power 5 is 32 hence the fifth root of 32 would be 2 and this would be 2 square since 2 to the power 5 is 32 now this is nothing but 4 see we get the same answers from both the methods now let's look at another example say we are asked to solve for 125 to the power minus 2 by 3 now we know that 125 is equal to 5 cube just replacing by 5 cube in the given expression we get 5 cube to the power minus 2 by 3 now we know that a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power mn and hence we get this expression as phi to the power 3 into minus 2 by 3. Now this gets cancelled and we are left with 5 to the power minus 2. Now this is nothing but 1 upon 5 square and that is equal to 1 by 25 or 0.04 I hope you understand these concepts better now I'll give you a few problems to solve for yourself find the values of 16 to the power 3 by 2 and 243 to the power 2 by 5 also Simplify one by five cube to the power seven and seven to the power one by two multiplied with five to the power one by two.